people's minds no. will not be changed. I just saw somebody in chat that says, I hear all this, but my mind still will not be changed. We have a live church chat going on. A live church chat going on. You still believe that you're going to be raptured out of here uh, before you're persecuted, even though a child who was covered by the same blood you were covered by, the same blood of Jesus Christ, a seven-year-old child was beheaded in, in the Middle East. But you, because you're an American, you, you live in a Western nation, you don't think you're going to suffer persecution. God will just rapture you out of here. But you're covered by that same blood mm -hmm. just as that child was covered who was beheaded, who was cut in half because he refused to renounce Jesus Christ. We got we, we to get right here. Wow. We got to get right. Some people, this should be, a, 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 this should be an honor mm -hmm. to be a soldier of Christ in these last days. To, to fight the good fight of warfare in these last days. That if it means, okay, Lord, uh, okay, Lord, okay, Lord. Father God, have me to be ready to not love my life to the very death. Have me to be ready to overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony, not loving my life to the very death. No, too so many people are saying, no, I, I, I'm looking for the blessed hope. And what they need to understand is that the blessed hope is not the rapture. The blessed hope in that particular scripture in context is Jesus the Christ. That's what it says. Jesus the Christ is our blessed hope, our blessed expectation. It's not the rapture. The rapture is, I'm not saying the rapture is not biblical. The rapture is in the Bible. I've given you scriptures and I'll give it to you again. But it's not going to happen before tribulation. Tribulation's yes. already come to the Middle Eastern Christians and it's now sweeping. Over 60% of the body of Christ is already in, in their tribulation. We're next. And there's no escaping it. We got to get this. We're next. And there's no escaping it. If some of you think that you're going to, not you, that gun and not you. But if there's people out there, there's too many darn churches and too many darn Christians that are saying, oh, well, then if that's the case, then that ain't the God I'm ready to serve. Then like Pastor said, you're about to get ready to stand in Walmart and take a stamp on your forehead. Welcome to the, the New World Order, Mark of the Beast uh, system. Because yeah. no, no. it's one or the other. You're, you're going to be hot or you're going to be cold. Mm -hmm. You can't be lukewarm. If you're, you're hearing all this, you're hearing God speak to you through this broadcast. God is speaking to you through this broadcast. And he's telling you, you got to be ready. We, as a body of Christ in this nation and in all these Western nations, too comfortable, too comfortable. And he's saying, you got to be ready now. You got to be ready to not renounce your faith in me. You got to be ready not to cast off your crown in me. You got to be ready to not give up eternal life in me. People think, listen. Who's, who, who's MacArthur? Who's John MacArthur? Is that, is that his name, John MacArthur? Claiming that you can take mm. the mark of the beast and still be saved? Yeah. You, you can take the mark of the beast and still be saved? You can take the mark of the beast and still be saved? How, how many people is he going to damn to hell with that? To the lake of fire? How many people is he going to damn to the lake of fire with that damnable message? You can't take no mark of the beast and still be saved, beloved. People are going to say, God... You're going to have to just, you, you're going to have to just understand, I got to feed my baby. Okay, I, we just announced that we're having a, our sixth child, another precious baby. But that gun it, that gun it, as much as I love my babies and as much as my babies love me, we've already talked to our children. Don't you dare renounce the faith of Jesus Christ. Even if that means you see us be beheaded in your presence, you keep your faith in Jesus Christ and we will see you when we get to heaven. We got to talk to our children about this. We got to talk to our spouses about this because the day of the Lord is at hand. We're here. We're here. Too many, too many either. Oh, I don't know about all that. God, he's going to have to understand. I got kids. Well, that God, we got kids too. And guess what? He had a kid. His name was Jesus Christ, the only begotten son of the living God. And he gave his only begotten son so that you will not perish but have everlasting life. Tell me you got kids. Tell me you got a pet. And you're going to take the mark of the beast so your pet Fufu could have some puppy child? That's enough. That's enough. What are we going to get right, Pastor? Well, you got to get it right now. My wife just went off on you guys. and it's uh, Not just, you guys. But well, I mean, on, on people that are not right. Well, it could have been I to mean, somebody. I do know what, Pastor, you're it could, right. It was to some people who are tuning well, in. the one that was on chat. The one that said that they're still... I hear on. all this, but I'm still not going to change my mind. Mm -hmm. Well, they're about damn near something to hell. Yeah, that's something um, that we 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 don't want you to do, but that's your choice, and that's a that's the wrong choice. That's right? the wrong choice. And um, it's it's my wife. Like I said, she she said some stuff here that should shake you up, Thank or you. shake you up. The ones that are already saved, saved, shake you up to tell 
your partner at work or your your, your cousin. There were some amens so, yeah. to this message and some yeah solidification and to some other some eye rolling like whatever. Oh, wow. Whatever. No, it's not. Well, the eye rolling thing is not gonna help you. Um, you're gonna be doing that at, at the end, taking the mark, and you're gonna be eye rolling. They I mean, didn't eye roll me. They you eye rolled the Lord. If you eye rolled what I, what was just said right now by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. Because that's why you gotta get into the Lord and um, have the Lord be in you, because that's what's gonna keep you full at the end and not starve to death and and not have Him. So fill yourself with Him and. Um, Fill it, fill it up, cause um he's he's he, um the time is near. The time is near. The time is near. The and time is now. You're about we're about we're to here. um get that great question into us. Are you ready? I mean, are you? Will you take the mark of the beast or be beheaded? That's, Can you picture uh, the antichrist or his minions? You know, they're gonna look like mm -hmm. regular human beings, but they're gonna be led by Satan himself. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna say, "Listen, why are you gonna worship a god who is not here to save you?" Why are you going to worship a God who has allowed you to see so much suffering and persecution? He hasn't done anything for you. And he's going to play some serious mind games mm -hmm. with so many. Why are you? You've been sick. You've been depressed. And here, if you take this new mark, if you take the mark on your right hand, on your forehead, you could be into this new society. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to eat and drink to your heart's desire. You, you'll be healed. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, you are you suffering from anxiety and depression you'll be healed are you suffering you, you you don't have an arm as soon as you take this mark you will actually get a new arm have you seen it you've already seen it because we've showed you we showed you through these televised holograms and we've shown you your neighbors who was in a wheelchair get up and walk that's the true power this is the true god in this new society just take his mark worship him Pledge allegiance to him, renouncing that other God that you've been worshiping that's not done anything for you. Take his mark, and you'll find love for the first time ever, and you'll even live an additional 500 years. Why die? Why make us have to take you to the chopping block and cut your head off? Why? 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 And they're going to put such a sadness. Like, mm -hmm. why are you forcing us to do this? And it's going to be the entire yeah. world is going to be bowing down, worshiping the beast. And the Lord says, and unless your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, you will bow down and you will worship that damnable, going straight to the lake of fire, defeated serpent, the beast. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, that's 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 terrible. If it um if it that's you guys, I mean you, I mean your buddies or your even your parents. Well, it's something that you got to tell them to be ready and um, explain to them. Lead them to this broadcast. Lead them to um, the um, um, uh, archives that we have here and um, Open Your Eyes People and EMOAF. Um, lead them to them because um, these are the ones that this is not going to stay behind. Like in the, some of the movies that they have videotapes um, about pastors saying if you're There's left behind. Some <laughs> There's YouTube videos now that says watch this YouTube video if you're one of the ones left okay. behind. Then you need to watch it yourself, buddy, yeah. if you did that video. Because so, guess what? You've been this, left behind. This, We're these, here. These broadcasts is for now. It's for like the right now and not for tomorrow. It's for you got to you gotta listen to this because this is some, some meat that we gave you today. And, and it's going to save you amen because of him amen not because of us it's because no. of him oh, no. we have him in us and uh, we're, we're like yeah. you mm -hmm. you know we're, we're pastor evangelist mm -hmm. but you're a father yes I, i'm a mom mm -hmm. you're your son i'm a daughter yes you know you're an uncle i'm mm -hmm. an auntie mm -hmm. we're just like you we have children you know uh we 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 we, we enjoy the comforts of, of home the comforts of the u.s you know mm -hmm. we, we we love sun to shine, but we know that as servants of God, as soldiers in Christ, as people who are simply born again and baptized with the Holy Ghost, we 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 may we, we have to think that okay, you know, we may be in prison one day, mm -hmm. we, we may be separated one day. See, we haven't. Who? Well, how many have had this conversation? We may be away from our children for a certain amount of time. We may be at the chopping block. We may be, uh, you know, trying to be tortured and mind gamed with. We 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 we're, we're, we've thought this. We've talked about this. There's a lot of families that have to have some conversation tonight. I think. You guys got to. You guys got to talk to your spouses and your and and your kids about this because it's um, 
You know, um, I'm going to say this. We were um, blessed to be born in this nation, right? U.S. of A. I mean, God is, 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 is from, from, from God. Is, this nation is from God. And um, to see all this, um, wow. I mean, to be here in America, I mean, thank you, Lord, that I, I was born here. And I think my wife, too. Yes. My kids here, too. And um, we weren't born in Syria or in Iraq yeah. or something like that. I mean, we're still here. We still got a, a chance to... Um, to repent, you know, um, people out there that, that, that were born in this nation do so. Yeah. <laughs> you got to. And, um, yes, you got to um, have conversations about this. You you got to sit down and talk to your kids about it. And um, all these, um, show them this broadcast. Yes. You know, show them this broadcast because, I mean, we have kids. Um, we're not, we're not, um, we're not afraid of talking to them. We're not. Um, We're know. afraid of not talking. Yeah, because if they don't know, well, there's it's more be... fear that they don't know, and mm-hmm. then they're caught by surprise that they're caught unaware. Rather than us saying, "Hey, listen, we, we got to sit mm-hmm. down and talk. We got to talk about what's going on in these last days, what's happening, mm-hmm. even with children your age." But we're going to talk to you about the victory as well in all this, and yes. we got to ask the Holy Spirit to be in this, to lead the conversation, lead the words, because when He leads it, it's bold. Mm-hmm. It's raw, but at the same time, there's a grace to it. Yes, and you know what? Right now, I saw somebody say um, that um, somebody on live chat. Yeah, somebody's spouse would think it, it think it's crazy to probably talk to their kids about it, or and you, the other spouse got to talk. They got to say something because one of them is going to get ready, and um, the other one's going to follow. Yeah. So you got to be speaking about it, and. Um, prepared your family and the other one will fall into your place um, um but if they think it's crazy to talk about this i mean come on it's going to be crazy when they separate separate your kids with you without you or your spouse what are you going to do what are you going to think you know you're, you're not going to think you're going to just say yes to the mark say this i want to get out of here so you're going to take the mark oh. and go see your family but your family's not going to be there because they already been beheaded because they didn't take the mark come on and you're going to be here with the mark and, it's, and see it's, that's how the antichrist mm-hmm. is going to do that's how the antichrist this beast system is going to mm-hmm. deceive they're going to try to separate the families mm-hmm. and then they're going to go to the husband first nope. and say yes. your wife already took the mark your children mm-hmm. already took the mark just take the mark and you'll see them again they're, that's how they're going to try to trip families up, knowing that that's not the case. But they're, see, it's going to be such a strong delusion, a strong deception. They're going to go to the wife, dear Lord Jesus, and they're mm-hmm. going to tell the wife, your husband already took the mark. Your children already, gonna, are, are, already took the mark. Why are you going to allow them to have a new wife and a new mom when you could just take the mark and join them mm-hmm. right now? And then they're going to go to the children. Kids. Your mom and dad already took the mark. They're waiting for you. No, no, no. We got to tell them the truth. Even if they lie to you, kids. Even if they lie to you and tell you mom and dad took the mark, take the mark too. You tell your children, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. And even if they think they try to convince you that we did, you don't take the mark because that will damn you to hell. And just know, man, if mom and dad took the mark, then they're damned to hell. Don't say, oh, if mom and dad took the mark, then I'm going to go there too. No, just say, dang, that's, that's messed up. But I'm not taking it. Wow. Father, get us prepared in these last days, Lord. Get our children prepared, Lord, in these last days. Get our spouses prepared. And us, me, each and every one of us individually prepared in these last days, oh, Lord. 